In this video we compare the speed and temperature of SSDs with heatsink and without one. PC on the left has no thermal pad or heatsink, PC on the right has both. We will copy 266 gigabytes worth of data with a timer for timestamp. We will monitor SSD temperature and percentage of copying completed. We will also run crystal disk mark and monitor temperature while benchmark is running. Those who are interested in seeing the full uncut testing and benchmarking, the videos will be linked below in the description. We have put the videos in parallel for better visual. We will skip ahead to the important bit of the comparison. Let's skip ahead to 1 minute and 40 seconds and see what's happening. You can see that copying without heatsink has already hit the red in terms of temperature, standing at 60 degrees Celsius. In comparison, the SSD with heatsink is much cooler at only 43 degrees Celsius. Not only that, the SSD with heatsink has also copied data faster with 3% lead already. Let's skip to 5 minutes and see how things are. The SSD without heatsink has fallen 8% behind in terms of data copying. With the temperature, there's a difference of 13 degrees Celsius, which is quite a lot. Beginning from 2 minutes 40 seconds, the temperature has been in red throughout. While the SSD with heatsink is still at comfortable 57 degrees Celsius. We will now skip to just over 6 minutes and you will notice for the first time the SSD with heatsink entered red with 60 degrees Celsius. While the SSD without heatsink is a whole 10 degrees Celsius hotter. With that said, the SSD with heatsink finishes the race within seconds. Leaving the contestant 14% behind and 11 degrees Celsius hotter. The SSD without heatsink takes further 1 minute and 25 seconds to complete the task. If you look at the speed of writing, it is far below 1.3 gigabytes per second it started with, all thanks to thermal throttling. The reason we did the second test is because this represents day-to-day -day normal use. The purpose was to see if not so pro users can benefit from heatsink. We are going to play this at 5 times the speed, please pay attention to the temperature. Quite frequently the temperature of the SSD without heatsink flashed red. Also, the previously the largest gap between the temperature readings were 13 degrees Celsius. With this test at times the temperature differences were staggering 20 degrees Celsius. Another interesting thing to note is that consistently in all field, the SSD with heatsink scores higher. If you are interested in purchasing the same heatsink we used in the test, do look for a link in the comment section. Thanks for watching.